going on YouTube? We're going to look at some cars today. And, uh, well, I found a new Dually driver set from Greenlight. Second run, second series. Got the Bigfoot. Got the NYPD, and I got the FDNY. Um, very, very cool trucks. Accurate, accurate livery on them. We'll take a look. Also found a really cool Tomica. I think this is like the third or fourth release Walmart exclusive Tomica series. We've got a Subaru Forester to take a look at. And I found a new Transporter Wave Hot Wheels. This was one I was very excited about. The lightweight E-Type um, with the carry-on transporter. So we're going to take a look at all these vehicles today. And uh, let's see, what do we start with? We'll start with the Subaru. like this car. It's really cool looking. This is 165th scale on this. Let's take a look a little closer. Let's get a little bit. There we go. Let's get a little closer here. Love the blue. It's going to go along, of course, with all the Hot Wheels and Matchbox Subaru cars I got. I also have the other Tomica BRZ. So, starting to grow. This is a really great body they tamper the headlights and stuff and you can actually i'm thinking about painting that and making it more accurate there's a lot of ways you can um fill in the headlights on these using some techniques um you can either draw it in or use different paint colors but you can kind of show the lights light bulbs and stuff in there kind of pick that out What's really good about this one is the grill. It's a separate plastic piece. So the definition on the grill is very sharp. So I like that a lot. These cars are about five bucks um, here in the States uh, at Walmart. The other good thing about this car I'm excited to do is I'm gonna drill this base off. It's a plastic base. And I'm gonna wheel swap it. There's a lot of great real rider hot wheel wheels that would fit perfect on here. So I got some loose ones I'm gonna probably play around with and see how we come along with which ones fit better. You know, I even might have to alter the base in terms of giving myself some more width to work with there. But we'll see. Suspension. All these Tomica cars got suspension. Except for very few of them. Like some of the big big trucks that they do in this size. Sometimes they're fixed. But most of the cars and, and you know pickup trucks and little SUVs will have suspension. Taillights are done very nicely. And then they tamper and work on the tailgate. Let's do a zoom on that. You can clearly see how it's Forrester is there. And uh, the Subaru logo and all that. The all wheel drive. The other thing is, it's a right hand drive car, so not completely US spec, but very close. And they tempo the um, wheel arches, that plastic that goes around now, and flat black. So it's a, I mean, it's a cool casting. Very, very fun. Good looking little Subaru. All right, so we'll park that over there. Okay, let's get to some uh, Hot Wheel trucks. What is this? Transporter. This thing was sweet, and um, these are hard to come by. Um, but not as hard to come by as the the Ford cab over with the, uh, I think it's the Galaxy. Uh, that's going to be hard. I haven't seen it yet. But this is the mix that it's with. So it's this, and then that, and then the, uh, I think it's the GTR. So, but this is a really cool casting i like this one a little bit better than the ford I'll, i can wait for the ford only because the fair lane the galaxy that's on on there isn't quite the scale it's a little funky but this is a brand new casting e-type car this is basically like their factory e-type lightweight that they made to race so they did a really good homage to that car you can see there's uh well, let's take a look here. This would have been a vent there, and a vent there. And the real car, there's holes 
but this is a small scale, so give them a little bit of creative license on that. But they tampled everything. Great wheels they used on this. They would have had like these, um, I think they're aluminum rims back then. And uh, it was a knockoff, so you'd have like a center spindle nut. And that would hold the wheels on. So these show lugs. But they moved away from the wire wheels on these cars. Uh, E-Type had disc brakes. I mean, it was pretty cool. Inline six cylinder. Twin cam overhead. So really cool. Straight six. Very, very famous engine. Usually in the three to three and a half. 3.8. Four liter. 4.2. It went up in size. Um over the many years of its production span. So, very cool. I think it even went down to the two liters. I can't remember. But uh, this is a, what do they call this? I mean, it's an E-Type. This car is going to be basically in the 60s. Uh, E-Type came out for production, I think, in 1960, 61, somewhere around there. And then this car shortly thereafter. This is... Uh, Looks like a Series 1 or 2 E-Type. They went all the way to a Series 3. Um, this is basically the convertible with a little shell on it. A hard top, but body. But they also had a coupe body, or a fastback body, with an opening door on the back. Big glass door that opened like a refrigerator. Kind of like up like that. So, But this is more like the convertible body. Really cool car. Metal base. Very excited to have this casting. Hopefully I find another one um, that I can keep carded. They don't uh, do any numbering on it or anything like that. But it is licensed Jaguar stuff, so it's very, very nice. You can see the E-type there at the gas filler door. They didn't tamp all the exhaust work, but that's okay. The casting is cool, and it fits on the truck very nicely. Too bad they could have had like more of a period truck to carry it, but that's okay. So they got the the leaping Jaguar, the leaping cat. Same wheels, just a bigger gauge on the truck. So that's kind of cool how they match. And it's kind of like their generic cab. It's almost like a um a Japanese Korean truck cab, almost all also like a UD or a, uh, one of those kind of like that truck, a Zuzu or something like that. Cab over or a conventional cab there. Just like the one that came with the Skyline. I got that one too. But this really hasn't been used that much, this ramp truck. In actuality this one's got the plastic ramp metal cab and then it has a metal base no suspension or anything like that different color plastic ramp <clears throat> so cool truck I like the colors it's got the, the British grease and green so, I'm very excited to have that all right so let's take a look we'll move this out of the way a little bit um, Let's take a look at some green lights, some real true 164 stuff. Um, so, been holding off on the dualies. Uh, I'm getting all of them. They come out in a set of six. Uh, kind of been there with some of their older. The first release kind of had simple stuff. I got the red Ford. I didn't even get the the white Ford. I had the red Ford dually reviewed on an earlier um, video. So. Can always look back at my 164 scale playlist and you guys can see that and gals all right so let's get started so we got a couple of new york vehicles let's look at the uh fire department this is cool this is my first silverado casting 3500 silverado so it's supposed to be a 6.6 .6 duramax truck it's got the fdni uh fdny livery so very cool this is how they come red with the yellow and white stripe let's take a little zoom but and but first let's just look around 
So Silverado truck. Um, this is in 2018, 1920 model year. It's kind of changing, but this is the previous gen. Uh, it's been in production for a while. Came out about about uh, 14, 15 time frame. This current this body right here, and then it basically went up to 18, 19, and switching now to the. The new love it or hate it look that General Motors is doing on their trucks. So this is all metal construction on the bed and cab, but unfortunately they had to switch to the plastic base for cost saving measures. I'm pretty sure when they mass marketed these, the dualies were out as castings already for a number of years, but again, they were in more selective um, releases. Sometimes they were done on OEM parts department trucks like at the dealerships and sometimes there are special runs for certain die cast distributors so but now they're they're in wide retail release and uh they had to come down to reality so i think they still might release some of these trucks in the hobby exclusive or something like that with the metal bases but these trucks that have to slot in with the same price point as the cars they had to make a sacrifice, and I understand. A lot of these dualies, even though they have an enormous blister pack, um, the mirrors sometimes will be still crooked. I mean, they're plastic, and they get stuck on there, so it's easy for them to be misaligned. Something Sometimes, basically, you can heat this with a heat gun or hair dryer and try to bend it very so slightly, or just bite the bullet and snap it off at the joint and then just reposition them with glue if it bothers you. And it usually bothers me, so I'm going to probably take them off and fix them. But for the most part, there's not a lot of blemishes on this. And again, Greenlight's been doing very good with the Tampo. Also, they did the, the tint job on the windows. You really can't see the interior that much. All right, so let's look at the Tampo work on this. This would have been a fire department truck for the city of New York. They have this paint scheme. A dually truck... Um, would probably be fairly rare in the fleet, although it would have certain duties this would do. Probably towing for the most part and rooming equipment. But uh, they do run pickups and crew cabs. Um, but there's not so many duallys. You can see the NYC Gov. That's really great. And they have the side markers on the uh, extended fenders for the dually. They have the bow tie on the center cap for the wheels. You know, these show there's an LTZ truck when you look at the tailgate, and we'll get there in a minute. Also, here on the grill. So that's debatable. I don't think they would run an LTZ as a, um, a fleet vehicle. Although I've seen LTs and XLT Fords and stuff like that ran for fleet. Especially fire departments where the, the duty is more confined to the personnel and not usually serving the public on these vehicles. It's usually just for the the uh, people serving, riding in them. So sometimes they can be a little bit more specialized and special ordered. But for the most part, they kind of save a little bit of money by not using LTZ. But you know what? They could be fine. It's good a bit off a of one-off truck or one or two of these vehicles that are in there for high-profile people in the department. So... That just would take a little bit more research on my part. So you can see there, LTZ, keep back 200 feet. Got the Silverado there. The bow tie, they probably would have taken off on the tailgate just so they can run the striping. Um, this modern stripe package is usually reflective. So they'd want to keep as much of that on the vehicle as they could. So it's a really cool truck. I love the graphics. I can't wait for the um, hitch and toe set. They're going to do a hitch and toe set with a uh, CUCV, uh, basically three quarter ton, one and, a, one and a quarter ton, as I talked about before, long bed truck. So it'll be from the 80s, painted in the FDNY, FDNY colors, and it'll have a little trailer. So that'll be cool to go along with that. So there is our 3500, and this is supposed to be, be depicting a diesel truck, so General Motors would be Duramax, and they have an Allison automatic transmission as their transmission. They really don't do stick shifts anymore, unfortunately. All right, let's take a look at some Fords. So the counterpart is 
this bad boy, F-350 Lariat. So Lariat on the Ford is the best trim, basically. They also have King Ranch and Platinum, but Lariat's up there. It's like a limited. It's got the really cool um, light bar on it. <clears throat> I think there's a Vista light bars, I can't remember. Or Vision or something like that. You, you can comment below. But uh, this is the light bar that NYPD uses a lot of vehicles. And uh, let's just take a look here because I didn't show the FDNY blister. So Series 2. And those are all the vehicles in there. I didn't get the... Um, I wasn't going to get the USA 1 truck or the the Ram for now. I just wanted, I really wanted the Bigfoot. And um, I'll get the trailer down from up on the shelf. And we'll look how it does. But So this is a really great, cool truck too. They use these um, a lot, obviously for equipment. But I always see these towing the police horses. So I have crew cab, uh, single wheel and dual wheel trucks that pull the horse trailers. And uh, that's a very common thing I've seen. Even even in the old days, as soon as the dually crew cabs were around, um, NYPD was using them. This is a more modern truck. It's got the modern colors on it. And let's see here, let's back this up. This is a long vehicle. <laughs> It's got the bumper stickers. They do very good with the NYPD. They have a very great partnership. They have very good extreme detail on these NYPD trucks. Um, you can see the bumper stickers are all accurate and correct. No license plate. Now they don't run license plates, um, but they do have numbered plates for the NYPD, so they didn't show anything like that. It's got white letter tires. Um, some of them might have white letters. A lot of them just have black walls, so that's kind of here nor there. They did tampo some um, black marks in there, so that's kind of cool for the holes in the rims. Haven't seen that before. I don't know if that's hollow or if they just marked that with paint. It's very small. I'll have to look at that closer, but that looks that's a lot more detail to the rim. This is untinted windows, it looks like. And, I mean, if we can get really close, it's got the Power Stroke badge. I believe it's the 6.7 now. And, uh, Police Department of New York badge, or, uh, Shield. So, really cool stuff. White cap mirrors, so they match the body color. It's got Super Duty on there, on the hood. There's your clear lens detail for the headlights. Some marking here. Um, I don't know if that's um, some of the black wash or not, but that can all be cleaned up. You could see there that they, I think they hand paint that, um, possibly. I don't know if a machine does that, but you can see some, some paint runs there. But really, all in all, not bad. Not bad at all. So this is, again, a four-wheel drive, most likely, dually, diesel. Light bar is amazing. They even had the shark fin antenna done there between the clearance lights. Or lights. Good looking roof, roof bar. Right there. And you can see that the traffic advisor on the back, too, is done. Let's see if we can get the cool stuff. Tinted rack window. Supposed to be a slider. You can see how they painted the bed. It's a little rough, but not bad. Seems like, yeah. So the way they make these, a lot of them are, like Greenlight's been doing these bigger pickups, is this interior, I think, I think is all plastic that they build up and they paint. And then this is all the metal casting on the outside. It's kind of like a bathtub of plastic that they put in there. Cool truck, though. I love the graphics. Um, very, very cool. And again, it has a little bit of a wobble. See the plastic base does have a hitch. A little bit of a wobble. 
I tried to, there was a lot out at one time when I picked this up, so I was able to look through about four or five different ones of these to try to get the one that looked the nicest to my eye. So <laughs> it's, I was lucky uh, to have come across so many at one time. All right, so the one I was really waiting for in the set, of course, and let's get the um, trailer down. Because that's part of this truck to me. Let's see here. All right. So, Bigfoot. Bigfoot F three fifty. Awesome. Look at that. So, did not buy two of these. That maybe I should have. There's the set, of course. So let's take this old girl out of here and finally match it up with the truck that you know, it should have came with. But they gave us a big thing in there instead of the truck to pull it. So that's okay. All right. So look at that. Look at that. Of course, it has the Bigfoot blue color. It's got really good graphics. You might notice the windows are very hazy, and I'm gonna kind of touch on that in a second. All of them had a little bit of that. Now this one, uh, it's calling it a Lariat 2. It's got the 4x4 Ford badge back there. It's the NYPD didn't have that. It's got the clearance lights, chrome wheels, step bumper. They paint it silver, so it looks like it's the, it's the metal base truck, but it's not plastic um, these mirrors are fairly straight when this one comes up a little bit on there you can see that window <laughs> and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do in a minute um, that bubbling those are pretty straight it's a little bit bent there um, but not bad let's take a look at the graphics got the big foot 4x4x4 four by four by four. and it's got the little big foot that they draw on there painted the bed blue this one's got tinted window on the back they replicated the old school tailgate that's actually it's on this one too let's look at that so you can see that's where how it started they kind of expanded it there so I kind of like that that's kind of cool I saw that it was neat um, it's got the big tailpipe, which I didn't notice. Let me see on this. Yeah, I guess it is on the NYPD one. Didn't even notice that on the other early, other release I had of that. So it's got that big tailpipe and a step bar and all that. Um, before we hitch it up to the fifth wheel, these windows, it seems like they put some sort of fluid on this truck, either for assembly or cleaning it or something. I've had this happen on a couple of these castings. Um... What I did was I drilled one out, and I went in there and wiped it down. I did it on this one, even. And it was even in this one. And this one was an OG release, an original metal base Ford truck that I had. I took the axles off and um, did it right here. And cleaned up the how it rode and everything. But this had it as well, so you could see how much the... Once you get a towel in there or a microfiber, so I gotta fix that again, um, and polish out those windows, <laughs> they look a lot better. Got a little dust on it, but um, so basically, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's grease or if it's tooling um, fluid or something like that. I have no idea. It felt like it was a light air tool oil or something because it doesn't evaporate it just kind of stays there so it's usually on these dually trucks to some degree whether it's very light or heavy like this one that's what it is and can be come out but you got to drill these suckers out unfortunately and I haven't done it but I will to these because these are the ones that I'm displaying so I will so let's look at this sorry to bore you with that but that's my uh, <laughs> uh, observation I'd say so here is the fifth wheel and I think that's awesome with the gooseneck 
Let's get that to zoom. So I finally have the set and the setup. You can't run the fifth wheel the way it's supposed to, though. I have to run it this way because it won't fit it between the, without me trimming it. And I might have to do that. So I had to spin it around to get it level. Um, this is adjustable. I think I went over that last time. So we can get that to level off a little bit better. So we got our Bigfoot truck and our tires. Got plenty of tires. I carried them like this. I've seen other guys carry them other ways. I'm sure there's a better way to tie these down. But uh, I'm just drawing it like that for now. I think this is sweet. Let's get that to be over the axle a little bit. There we go. So, look at that. Really, really cool. I'll probably get this set up so it's um, the fifth wheel is more permanent. And I'll be able to tow the trailer without it moving around in the bed but uh for right now i would say i got a real winner here absolutely so just a little update some new pickups i was again i was able to get these retail and not have to order them and uh i found that uh, very very nice <laughs> for a change there is some hot exclusive green lights that have been released so I'll probably try to get those soon, and we'll add those to the uh, collection. But we got some trucks, and I'm very happy when I have my trucks and getting new trucks. So excited to share that with everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. More to come. Till next time.